hey guys welcome to another tutorial on ansys so in today's tutorial I'm, i'll be modeling clamp in ansys so let's begin right click on project schematic go to new component system and select geometry geometry you type clamp and then select geometry right click and go for new geometry so this will open design modeler where, I, where we are actually going to design the model so once you are in design modeler go to xy plane say look at and uh, before that go to units and select millimeter now go to sketching draw circle and go for dimensions select radius set the radius 50 so circle is done next we need to go to modify and uh, select the offset offset select your circle right click in selection place offset and place it now end it So once we are done with the offset, you can go to draw, select polyline, start drawing like this. Right click and say open end. Control Z polyline. end so once you are done with polyline next we need to replicate this thing these lines so for that go to modify again select replicate select your lines right click and say and use end or use plane uh, origin as handle so after that you need to again right click and say flip vertical and now select your origin and right click and say end so this replication part is over after that you need to go for modify and trim so I need to trim this part and this part and this part and this part and obviously this part and this part so once you're done with trim what you can do next is you can go to constraints select select equal length and then select this one and this one again equal length this one and this one this one and this one so equal length constraint is done next go to dimensions general and then give dimensions for this one and horizontal distance for this one vertical distance for this one and radius to general radius to this one so first this one will be 60 okay 65 
radius is radius will be 46 next this height will be 4 and this will be 20 so yeah now I'm done with dimensions so next I'm going to go for modeling select my sketch and go to isometric view and extrude and extrude direction will be both symmetric depth let's take it 10 and next what we can do is generate so this clamp is getting ready next select a sketch on and hide a sketch and let's go for hole on this face okay you need to create new plane so create new plane and say generate so plane is generated go for sketching okay select your plane say look at and go for sketching So next again select circle draw a circle over here D1 is pin 10 now this distance is 10 general select the center and this axis and again center this axis so this will be 10 and this will be 7.5 so again I need to go for modeling go for extrude this time extrude select your sketch to operation will be cut material extend type will be to surface target face this one apply generate so this thing is done next hide a sketch
next what we are going to do is we are going to use blend feature for this part this part and this and that so select the blend fix radius hold control and select the edges This will be five. Apply. Generate. Can isometric. So our clamp is ready this clamp i'll be using in my future videos so make sure you go through this and keep it ready with you hope you guys like it if you have any doubts please feel free to comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you so much